government savings and their productive use leads to higher economic growth. The households are the main contributors to the savings. Therefore, to encourage domestic investments in long-term savings, I propose to increase the investment limit under Section 80C to all income tax base from rupees 1 lakh to rupees 1.5 lakhs. Madam, this is no secret that the major slippage in the last decade has been on the infrastructure front. Our infrastructure does not match our growth ambitions. There is a pressing need to increase public investment. I have therefore increased outlays on both roads and garage budgetary support to the railways by 14,031 and rupees 10,050 crores respectively. The capex of public sector units is expected to be 3,17,889 crores, an increase of approximately 80,844 crores over last year. In fact, all told, investment in infrastructure will go up by 70,000 crores in the year 1516 over 1415 from the Centers Fund and resources of the CPASs. We are grateful to our farmers for being the backbone of the country's food security. We need to think beyond food security and give back to our farmers a sense of income security. Government will therefore reorient its interventions in the farm and non-farm sector to double the income of farmers by 2022. Our total allocation on agriculture and farmers' welfare is rupees 35,984 crores. Political parties continue to receive most of their funds through anonymous donations, which are shown in cash. An effort, therefore, requires to be made to cleanse the system of political funding in India. Donors have also expressed reluctance in donating by check and other transparent methods, as it would disclose their identity and entail adverse consequences. I therefore propose the following system as an effort to cleanse the system of funding of political parties. A. In accordance with the suggestion made by the Election Commission, the maximum amount of cash donation that a political party can receive will be 2,000 from any one source. <laughs> Political parties will be entitled to receive B. Political parties will be entitled to receive donations by check or in the digital mode from their donors. C. An additional step, and as an additional step, an amendment is being proposed to the Reserve Bank of India Act to en enable the issuance of electoral bonds in accordance with a scheme that the government of India would frame in this regard. हमारे दल के घोषणा पत्र में ये संकल्प है कि कृषि को लाभदारी बनाने के लिए किसान भाइयों को उनकी लागत उत्पादन की लागत से कम से कम 50 परसेंट से 50 परसेंट से अधिक अतार्थ लागत से डेढ़ गुना दाम मिले। सरकार इस संकल्प के प्रति संवेदनशील रही है। रबी की अधिकांश अधिगोषित फसलों का न्यूनतम समर्थन मूल्य लागत से कम से कम डेढ़ गुना तय किया जा चुका है। अब हम बची हुई, अब हम, अब हम बची हुई अधिगोषित फसलों के लिए भी इस संकल्प को एक सिद्धांत की तरह लागू करने का फैसला लिया है। In view of the rising income levels, those in the highest income brackets need to contribute more to the nation's development. I therefore propose to enhance the surcharge on individuals having taxable income from 2 crore to 5 crores 
and 5 crore and above, so that effective tax rates for these two categories will increase by around 3% and 7% respectively. The Income Tax Act is riddled with various exemptions and deductions which make compliance by the taxpayer and administration of Income Tax Act by the tax authorities a burdensome process. It is almost impossible for a taxpayer to comply with income tax law without taking the help from professionals. In order to provide significant relief to the individual taxpayers and to simplify the income tax law, I propose to bring a new simplified personal income tax regime wherein income tax rates will be significantly reduced for the individual taxpayers who forego certain deductions and exemptions. For 21-22, I propose a sharp increase in capital expenditure and thus have provided 5.54 lakh crores, which is 34.5% more than the BE of 2020-2021. Over and above this expenditure, we would also be providing more than 2 lakh crores to states and autonomous bodies for their capital expenditure. This budget continues to provide impetus for growth. It lays a parallel track of, one, a blueprint for the Amritkal, which is futuristic and inclusive. This will directly benefit our youth, women, farmers, the scheduled castes, and the scheduled tribes. And number two, big private public investment. Number two, big public investment for modern infrastructure, readying for India at 100. This shall be guided by PM Gati Shakti and be benefited by the synergy of multimodal approach. Now I come to what everyone is waiting for. <laughs> Personal income tax. I have five major announcements to make in this regard. These primarily benefit our hard-working middle class. The first one concern, concerns rebate. Currently, those with income up to 5 lakh do not pay any tax, do not pay any income tax in both old and new regimes. I propose to increase the rebate limit to 7 lakhs in the 